like to say first of all, Charlotte, um, thank you for being my second sister. Um, one part of our clip too is shit. Um, and, uh, Ryan, baby cakes. Um, like one of my many boyfriends. Um, just thank you for looking up for my second sister, my youngest of cousins. Thank you for teaching me to play rugby and love. Teach me to play PlayStation. <laughs> She is a delight and she has become like my best friend and it's really hard that she's in Melbourne but um, it's a really good excuse to go shopping. Since we lived together we thought we laughed, he cried. We did not always show the love that we both had inside. I smile because you're my brother, I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. I wouldn't normally talk at my own 21st but since it's also Ryan's I thought I'd write a speech for him. Someone may prove me wrong tonight, which no one has, so thank you for that. <laughs> but I know that most people see Ryan as a guy who doesn't often stuff up or stumble into embarrassing situations too often. He does a very good job of maintaining the super friendly, always happy, semi-perfect impression on people, which although is reasonably true to his personality, Ryan is by no means perfect. <laughs> 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 I wanted to get up here with a whole list of examples of the stupid things that Ryan says and does on a regular basis. But of course when you sit down to write a speech, nothing tends to come to mind. So I thought I wasn't going to have anything embarrassing to say about you. Until last minute when you finally pulled through and did something stupid. <laughs> last week I mentioned to Ryan I was considering buying a gradual fake tan. I thought just like any time I say anything this interesting that Ryan wouldn't really respond or care less. But surprisingly, he said, oh yeah, maybe I can use that too. <laughs> That's not the embarrassing part. <laughs> so I went and bought this gradual tanner, keyword being gradual, that said it would take three days of use to really show any difference. The first night we were going to try it, I was heading down to the shops and Ryan asked if he could use it while I was gone. I suggested waiting till later so I could make sure he did it right. I don't think he processed that response. <laughs> he also asked if it could be applied to the face, which I also advised probably wasn't the best idea. <laughs> anyway, I went out, came home, and he said he'd done it. <laughs> Hadn't listened to me, but no surprises there. I asked if he'd rubbed it in well, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next morning, fast asleep, I hear Charlotte. Charlotte, wake up. Charlotte, I need your help. <laughs> I'm normally a very grumpy person in the morning, but the way he said that, I woke up with a smile. <laughs> you better arrive, better Once my vision adjusted, I could see the multiple blotchy orange marks that covered his face. I can understand why you would have been freaking out knowing the guys on the car yards would have ripped you apart. <laughs> I do wish, however, we hadn't given it that week to test and that Ryan could have made the same mistake last night prepping for today so you all could have enjoyed this one stuff up that usually gets swept under the rug. Anyway, on to the nice part. I am lucky that you decided to ditch Boys College and move back to Oates. I am lucky that you were part, that you were put in my English class even though you never felt like you belonged at the level it was. I'm lucky that at the time I was selling chocolates out of Tupperware containers and you seemed to have a deadly addiction to overpriced Kit Kats. <laughs> because the way that you funded my school trip seemed to be the start of an amazing friendship that has recently, or not so recently, turned into a highly domesticated relationship. <laughs> These days I love you even though you constantly leave butter and milk out of the fridge in the morning. I love you even though when you lie on your back while you're sleeping you sound like someone's choking you to death. I love you even though you can't hang out 
washing crop plate and our clothes don't dry evenly. I love you even though you don't appreciate my love for East Club 7 music from time to time. However, I do love you because after two years of living together, you've learned to leave the toilet seat down. I love you. I love you because you drive to the supermarket at 10 o'clock at night when it's that time of the month. I love you because you always know what to say or do when I'm down. I love you because you pretend to care when I talk about things that really don't interest you one bit. I love you because you were, are, uh, and always will be my best friend. And I love you mostly because you chose me to be the only girl that you didn't friend zone. Yeah. <laughs>